everybody. Welcome to Art Tip Friday. Uh, what I'm thinking about today is that I know you artists are out there working fever feverishly to get all your sketches done for Monday morning. So the, there's a process to this. I want you to get your head on straight so we can get her done by Monday. Step one, wear your client's t-shirt, okay? It makes you remember them. Sometimes I'll even go over here and have lunch before I start sketching because we're part of the team. Step two, get to the studio, find yourself a very comfortable chair. This is an old chair I've had for years and years. It doesn't even have too much paint on it. It's mostly my drawing chair. It's a little broken, a little worn, but it gets a lot of use. Find you a comfortable sketching chair and this is it. Try not to run into your drawing table. So here I am at the drafting table. Now, a smarter man might have brought some fresh paper, but since I can't find any, I'm gonna go ahead and use the back of something that I already drew that was rejected. You know, practical is practical, okay? Let me show this. This is the sketch I did the other day and showed the client. They seem to really respond to it. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is maybe detail it a little bit more, just try to make it a little bit more of a finished product. This one here was just to give the concept, but the next one will be to really close the deal. I don't know what step it is, y'all, but that's irrelevant. What's relevant here is how you get started. Now, this is a photo I took of the location where the mural is supposed to go. It's on the back wall as guests arrive, and they'll see it hopefully when they leave. This is over at our place in Mansfield, Texas. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of look at this picture. Now, if you get close here, Cam, you can see that this is a back wall back here. I don't know if you can see that. And then this is the actual wall where they want the mural. One of my questions while I'm drawing this is do I wanna put the mural on the whole surface? I think I do, because I think people, I want people to stand in the mural and take their selfie. I can hook this up here, hopefully. Kind of leave it like this. Now this does not have to be a masterpiece. It's just a sketch to show my idea. The masterpiece will actually be on the wall. Now, if you're just getting a, a new client, they're gonna ask you to do a lot of sketches because they don't trust you. Now on a gig like this, uh, Otto and Benji who own the place, we're really good friends and I've been helping them since they opened our place restaurants. Uh, so we have sort of a back and forth. Like on this particular job, Benji said, well, I know it needs, needs something. I want a selfie wall back there, but I don't really know what uh, to do. So I'm gonna leave it up to you. You just show me some ideas. Uh, now that kind of is cool after a long time, but it also gives you a little bit of responsibility because uh, they didn't really tell me what they wanted, but I, I really need to focus on what they need, not what I want. I mean, I would like to do uh, something really cool with a Western scene and a cattle thing, because uh, they have great food or a cookout or something, but that, he wants something a little softer, so I gotta remember that the whole time I'm sketching. The main thing is, is you're giving them what they need. This is a commercial job, uh, they, want to make people feel good when they look at it so let's not get carried away that they hired us and we're self-employed and I'm the boss no they're the boss they're the client they're the ones whose uh, needs are most important we don't need to feed my ego we need to uh, make them happy by the way this Facebook thing with the murals and the sharing it's fantastic it's really uh, helping people get involved in art and so I'm totally down with it so when you see some artists that's out there working please share it and Maybe it can be more of our culture where people really have a language they can talk about murals and stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of draw some bricks in, underneath it. A basic brick technique is you just draw two or three lines, okay? Uh, then you go back and you just put bricks in there. Do it just like that. You don't wanna overdo it because it'll get too busy. And remember, I've still gotta put a sketch on here, but you just wanna kinda draw little bricks that kind of look like the ones up there just like a little cartoon in fact Michelangelo called them cartoons because he would do this for the Pope or whoever was hiring him 
uh, Otto and Benji are uh, firm believers in branding. It's not about you, as I said, it's about their needs. They know their business better than you. You may have a lot of experience working in restaurants or dealing with uh, restaurants, but they know their business like it's in their gut. And also, lots of their food is in my gut, so that's right. Now, sometimes they're not gonna like your first ideas, okay? Just get used to that. That's why on almost anything, I can come up with four or five pretty good ones. I really have about a dozen ideas on everything. And then I uh, kind of bring it down to scale and say, okay, what are the best three? And then with a good client, or if I really know it, I just do the one and know for sure I nailed it. And then I go politely tell them, I think this is the direction we should go. Uh, you want to hear about my drafting table? How about that? Come on, man. <laughs> okay, I'm going to blow that off for right now. Try to make sure you spell restaurant, right? And pretty important part of your sketch. Now, okay, that looks cool. Now, the slogan I came up with is thanks. for making our place restaurant your place. Maybe I'll make your a little bit bigger here. Okay. Got a picture of a cute, cute, cute family that I drew. There's old grandpa. This is as Norman Rockwell as you want. Remember, we're trying to make people feel good. In all these troubled times, sometimes it's nice to just walk up and you weren't ready for it, but you see a painting on a wall and it just makes you feel good. Oh, Andy Taylor and Barney Fife around the corner. Basically, I guess what I'm saying is, the client is always right. Even though they said they'd leave it up to me, I'm really just trying to make sure my client loves the piece I'm gonna do for them. If they love it, their patrons will love it, and uh, that's how you close deals and make a living. There's no reason for an artist to be starving as long as you can do restaurant murals. Hey y'all, thanks for uh, checking out my Art Tip Friday. I also have other friends that we're filming every day they want to share their knowledge, so I ask you, please, share art, share my friend Tabaka's art, my art, and any upcoming artists you see. We all need some uh, love, so please share some love.